During Andrew Jackson's presidency, he was both a successful economic and political advocate for the common or ordinary man, positive and negative opinions about his contribution to America as to his reputation as one of the greatest readers since the Founding Fathers. Despite the controversy surrounding his two terms, Andrew Jackson provided to be an effective president by expanding the president's power, preserving the union, and creating the Jacksonian democracy. Andrew Jackson was successful at expanding the power of the presidency by implementing his belief of giving broad authority to the seat. He did things such as disregarding the Supreme Court, vetoing more bills than any other president, using the spoil system and the force bill. In Worcester v. Georgia, state laws were passed that non-Native Americans were not allowed in India territory. This was brought on by Worcester, who believed that his family's forced removal was a violation to his constitutional rights. He felt that the states didn't possess the jurisdiction to force a law onto Native land. After the decision of the Supreme Court, Jackson stated, John Marshall has made his decision. Now let him enforce it. This expanded his power over the Supreme Court by showing that they didn't have the means to enforce any law onto the states. Jackson also overused his power of the veto. He only passed the laws that would improve faculties where the Democrats were numerous. Jackson fired nearly 10% of the federal government employees and appointed the jobs to the loyal Jacksonians. This ensured that any decision he made would be backed up by all of his kitchen cabinet. Furthermore, he enforced the force bill, which also allowed him to use the army or navy to get him into the states and collect tariff tax. This puts the federal powers over the states and allows him to enforce laws even though the states may not agree. Jackson was accused of being dictatorial and unconstitutional, but expanding the power of the president allowed the common man to feel as if his voice was being heard. Andrew Jackson did everything he could to defend the Union. During Andrew Jackson's presidency, the country had a number of issues going on. Slavery, state rights, and coexisting with Indians. Jackson had a strong feelings of each issue and did what he could, what he felt was needed. During his first presidency, the Whigs had an American system in 1816 which was a plan to straighten and unify the nation. Jack supported it on national grounds as a means to build the country's strength and secure its economic independence. Jackson supported the tariff 1828, but was hated by Southerners who saw it as an advice to transfer wealth from the cotton planters to the northern manufacturers. In 1833, Jack, Andrew Jackson announced to the government that they will no longer use the second bank of the United States, the country's national bank, in what is the event now called the Bank War. The Bank of the United States loaned paper money to people to buy land, farming supplies, or start a new business. People would then pay it back with plus interest. Jackson believed that Jefferson started the Democratic Republican Party in the 1820s. When Jackson became president, he formed the Jacksonian Democracy, which included him and his supporters. He wanted it to be a political party made towards making greater democracy in the United States. The Jacksonian Party was built from the three statements. One, that it declared itself to be a party of the common man. Two, that that they thought a lot about the economical elites and what they were supposed to be. And last, that they would offer the good land in the West for the whites and the territories um, of the Oklahoma states for the Indians that were forced to move. Jacksonian democracy was definitely represented by its leader. It was a prerog provocative mixture of the best and the worst of his citizens. The good thing about the Jacksonian politics were the huge trust of the government and the many new laws. He made the many laws to change the way the world sees us, um, but also the bad part um, to historical movement. Jackson truly did what he thought was the best opportunity to stay in progress and help his voters. He did this by, for example, vetoing the 
Supreme Court and by forcing innocent people out of their originally land with the Indian Removal Act. Jackson democracy really convinced the people of the benefits of the white man and truly increased the racial problems at that time. In the eyes of some, Andrew Jackson was sectorial and unconstitutional, but to the common man he had successful economically and politically. Jackson gave farmers more land to farm and expanded the powers to the president so the people's words could be heard and have taken action. Andrew Jackson did some controversial actions, but he is still considered one of the greatest rulers since the founding fathers.